Welcome to the homework for lesson six. This is grade two, module three. Write your name first. And we're matching numerals with number names. So this is, these are all on this side. These are all in word form, which is word form is all words. All words, not unit form, which is a mixture of numbers and words, right? You have numerals and the units and words. But these are all words. And over here we have number form, or sometimes called standard form, just the regular numbers. And we're going to match them up. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is, instead of zooming out and just drawing a big matching thing to show you the answers I'm going to show you how to figure this out and I'm going to write down each number I'm going to read the word form and write down the number and then, I'll, then you'll be able to match everything up once you see the numbers the, the number form so 230 if you think of this you know you can make a little HTO chart I'm not going to do this for all of them, but if we have HTO 200, so there's two in the hundreds, and then we need the number 30. 30 is three tens. And we don't have any one, so it's, we're looking for that number right there. Or you could do like a little HTO chart like that for every single one of these, but you won't probably won't have to for all of them. 40 is just 40. 960. So this one, if you ever, ever have trouble with figuring out what digit goes where when you read a number, there's 900 and we need 60. And if we wrote that, we'd have six ones, we wouldn't have 60, zero tens, right? So we have to Just as an example of if you're having an issue like that where you're not sure where to put those zeros when there's a place value missing, this little trick can really make it easy. There's a 60. So you have a 900, you have 60, and you have zero ones. 470. So we have a four, we have a four in the hundreds, and then we need 70, which is seven tens, and we have zero ones here. 850. Now you might read this as 800. Some people say it out loud 800 and 50, but we really don't want to say the and out loud. But if you might think of it as 800 and 50, then you have the 850. And some people will get stuck on this and they'll write it like this 850. Now that's really 80,050. So if, and just think of that. This is why if you're having, if you ever have that kind of an issue, this is where that writing out that HTO chart can really help. So 519, if I make a little HTO chart for this guy here, and you don't have to write these out. But if it helps, keep doing it. We need 500, so that's 5 in the hundreds. And then we need a 19. So here's where we put the 19. At 19 is a 10 and 9 ones. There's your 519. That's what it should look like. And so if that's 519, 417 is going to be 4, hundred and 4 in the hundreds and a 17. 14 is just... 14. And sometimes these word forms are difficult to read because you've never had to read them before. You've never had to read them as words before. So you're looking at them and you're like, 14, is that 40? It starts with a 4. But when you see the teen here, that should be the, the, the giveaway that, uh, that you're talking about a teen number, right? You have a teen here. There's some more teens coming here. Teen, teen, teen. 
Okay, so that's 14. 913 should look like that. 815 should be an 8 for the hundreds and a 15. 590, right? This is not a teen anymore, so we need 90. That's a 5 for the hundreds. And then 990 nine is 9 tens. We have zero ones because it's not 90 anything else. Now we're back to the teens again. Teens again. So 213. It's a 13 with 200. And then finally 916. That's a 16 with 9 hundreds. All right, so now you know everything you need to know to match everything up. There's the last one. And I'll zoom back in for the next page. We're writing. Now we're, we're given uh, numbers in expanded forms. These are expanded forms where we're adding the hundreds, the tens, and the ones. And we're making, we're writing these in, in number form, also called standard form. Just what is this? When you add these all together, what's the sum? Write it as a regular number. So we have, how many ones do we have here? We've got, and again, this is, you know, this little HTO chart makes everything so easy when you're doing these kinds of problems. Well, I'm just going to make a bunch of them here. Just in anticipation that I'm going to use a lot of them. I'm just going to make a, a few of them. Okay. So how many ones do we have here? We have one, two, three, four ones. How many tens? One, two, three, four tens. And two hundreds? That's 244. See? And uh, this will also help you to, I mean, we live in a left to right world. So sometimes, and you'll see what, when it comes up, it's going to come up soon. That uh, sometimes you can write these digits out of order if you're not paying attention to the values that you're adding. Because when you start doing this, originally you're just going to see the 3, the 9, and the 9 and say, oh, that's 399. Well, in this case it is because you have 300s, 9 10s, and 9 1s. But if you do this one, you're going to think you have 500, 512, but what you really have is 5 1s, 100, and 2 10s. You really have 125. So just be careful that you're looking at the digits correctly when you do this. And the HDO chart will help you with that. It will make sure that you're looking, you're putting the right values you're giving them the right digits 600 plus 50 650 400 plus 3 this one's worth putting into an hto chart too because we have we're missing a place value here so it's not going to be this right it's not going to be that because that's 43 and we have 400 so it can't be 43 hto that zero we have four hundreds, we have three ones, and we have zero tens. So that zero tens is a that's a placeholder that keeps the four hundred three from looking like a forty three. And we have nine hundred seventy six. And now we're writing these in expanded form. So if you want to get fancy, you don't have to write them in hundreds, tens, ones order. 
but expanded form is just like we had up here. This is now we're doing it backwards. Like on the, this number two section here, all of these, they're giving us expanded form and we're writing it in number form. And now we're getting number form and we're writing it in expanded form. And we can you know and the HDO charts work here too. I'll just give you one example and then I'll just do the rest of them. 533. So you see that you're looking at the values of these digits. That's 500, right? Plus 30 plus 3. And this is really, we practiced this in the last homework assignment. You could also do this too. This would also help. Make the number bond, right? And remember, you have to have the 300 the 50 and the 5 because if you just have 3 5 and 5 this is going to add up to 13 not 355 so remember you have to if you're if you were getting good at these number bonds in the last homework assignment then this will help you do the number bonds for all of these This is four hundreds, and those six tens is going to be sixty, so it's four hundred plus sixty. And you could, if you wanted to say plus zero, you could, but you don't have to even write that because it's just zero. And then we have eight hundred plus one. That's it.